don't don't no don't what <laughs> yeah it's a juma battle over here it's a juma next okay you i got this right Tell me, what are some tips to be a better model? Um, there's really no tips to it. You're just born with it. Oh, it's like that, huh? Yes. Oh my gosh, I grew this. Models are just natural. Just natural. Yes. Did you, as a young child, want to be a model? Is that a dream? No, I was actually an athlete. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I never. I was never a model. I was actually a Kenyan national champion in 400 meters. Look at you being all, all <laughs> shy and humble about it. 400 meters? Yeah. After this, we're going on throwing our sneakers. We're okay, going for sure. a sprint. All right, deal, okay. deal. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So that, you were. That, but that was before two kids. Yeah. Before. So there's so much to cover. You're two kids. You have two kids. You're a mom. You're yes. a supermodel, and you're running yourself a business. Yes. How do you do it? I don't know. You just have to. I mean, that's. You just grow up and you you gotta you know you gotta stabilize your life. I mean, you gotta at some point everybody gets there. Absolutely. You need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of your highlights from your career? Oh gosh, Victoria's Secret. Is it the fashion show? Yeah, that's what every girl dreams of doing, and I did that. Wow. Is, um, wonderful. I mean, um, I was Vivian Westwood. I am Vivian Westwood's muse. Oh, yeah, and she's a fantastic designer as well. Of course. Yes, and yeah, I mean, I've done. How was it working with Naomi Campbell? And oh, yeah, great yeah. as well, yeah. Mm. So it's, yeah. I, I mean, I would never, I would never, I would, I would never have dreamt of like doing all that. Wow. Yeah. When was one of the hardest moments in your career and you pushed through you? What, what got you through that? Um, I think it's what got me through hard moments in my career. Sure. Um, I think. What I always say is that it's my upbringing. You mm. know, there's a way that African kids are brought up that is uh, it makes you have get tough skin. Sure. Yeah. Wow, mm. well, that's incredible. So <laughs> that's amazing. And you come from a, a large family. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. Of course. You know, we live with my cousins, my aunties, everybody. So it's of course it's large. My extended family. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What was the What was the reaction from your What was the reaction from your mother uh, when you when you were on the Victoria's Secret runway? It's so hard because it's, it's hard for them, can I say, to fathom, like to get yeah. their mind around the whole modeling thing. Okay. Yeah, so it's, they, were, they were proud of me, you know, they sure. were proud of me, but of course, um, to some extent, some, most of my family didn't understand, but, you know, you know, you walk around, you, you put on clothes, you walk and you're paid, they just don't get it. <laughs> What's yeah. going on over yeah. here? How do I sign up? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I grew, this, I grew this beard for this competition, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> So um, I, I hear a little birdie told me that besides modeling, you're also an actress. Uh, actress, my gosh, no. Uh, to catch a dream? Yeah, I uh, uh, my friends, uh, for my friends. I'm just saying. <laughs> Tell me like, about that. No, it's just, uh, I've, I've been modeling for a while, and people have been saying, ah, you, you know, you should try to act. And people I'm like, no, I'm just such a bad actress, you know. And my friends decided we're going to do something, like this acting thing to mm -hmm. catch a dream. And I decided, why not give it a go? You know, it's just me and my group of friends. Let me see how, you know, how it's going to work sure. out. So it was, it worked out quite, people liked it. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> With millions of views on YouTube. Check yeah. it out. <laughs> Tell, what drew you to that story? Is it uh, something that touched you? Yeah, it's, um, this is, these are stories I've been told as a kid. Mm. These um, fantasies, these are fantasies that we've been told by my grandparents, you know. Yes. So to actually act it out was quite amazing because... I don't know. It's just what we've been told since sure. we were children, you know. What's what's These that? These folk stories. Ah, yes, okay. yes. Can you briefly tell us what that story is about? That specific one. So it's about me, and um, my, my husband is haunting me okay. in my dreams. Gustav. <laughs> How did you know? Hey, I <laughs> <laughs> done my research. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna go into the news banging the heads. I can't. You gotta be perfect. Anyways, <laughs> yes. yeah. So um, we go through some traditional, um, what do you call it, um, remedies mm -hmm. to get rid of him, which takes me through a journey mm -hmm. where in the end, of course, I, I do get rid of him. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No good stuff. Okay. What does a Juma mean? That's a beautiful name. Is there a meaning behind that? Yeah. Juma is actually means Friday. Friday? on a Friday. No yeah. way. <laughs> Sarah Black, I'm sure, loves that. Friday. Yeah. Rebecca Black, is it? Yeah. So you were born on a Friday, so yes. they named you Juma. Yes, yes. Incredible. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Do you believe in aliens? My gosh. 
I don't believe in them, but I'm scared of them. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> me too. I'm frightened. I'm like, really, I'm like, oh my gosh. My I'm subconscious, I think, yeah, it's kind of oh, believes us. in them. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And tell me more about this movement. Love your black. Hashtag. Oh yeah. Growing up, um, I was teased because of my skin tone. I'm pretty dark. Here in Kenya, the lighter you are, the more attractive you are. Wow. You know. Even here in Africa, in Kenya. Yes. Yes. So a lot of people go around bleaching their skins, their wow. skin, which is, I mean, there's a lot of health issues that come with that. And also it doesn't look good. You know, you get, I don't know, it's, it just doesn't look It's not pretty. healthy, it's not yeah, pretty. But to the point that, I mean, people are, would rather look like that than look like this. You know, right. they'd rather walk They're around with blemishes and skin. weird skin mm -hmm. than look like this. So, I mean, I, I, I had quite a hard time growing up. You know, wow. with my confidence, self-esteem. I mean, which didn't I didn't really show. I'm not that kind of girl. Yeah. I always keep it cool, but of course, inside, you sure. know, it was bad. It wow. Was killing me inside. I'm sure. So I, I I took it out through sports. I was very tomboyish. Oh yeah. Crazy tomboy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was the captain of all the sports teams. So I mean, I I, I took the attention away from that. I like, see. And that was how you through, vented your energy into yes, that. Yes. Yes. Anyways, so what I did that now, I mean, I became this model where all of a sudden I'm beautiful, you know. Right. I mean, I was on Times Square, I was on, you know, magazines, on TV, everywhere. And all of a sudden I come back home, everybody now thinks I'm beautiful. beautiful. Right? Wow. So I'm using that, that to, I mean, to, to, to just to encourage the younger generation, you know, mm. um, or anybody who's like, you know, who has been, who's being put down because they're dark, the, the, their skin is dark, you know. So normally... I go around schools, they, I bring kids here from schools, the ones who are like um, being bullied or who are having a hard time. You bring school. them here with you? Yes, they come here with me, just a little group. We usually, we, we talk about our problems, what we've been through, you know, sure. even me, I, tell, I, I open up to them what I've been through wow. when I was little, also when I was growing up in school. And also, and then I, uh, we, we do makeup, you know, we make them up. Oh, and then we, we go into the studio, we shoot picture. them, you know, take that's, pictures. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, beautiful, yeah, yeah. amazing. And then I teach them how to walk, you know, just to boost their confidence. You know? Right, of course. So, and they, they go out of here feeling good, which oh, is quite satisfying. That's amazing, and carry that with them throughout their whole life. Yes, yes, You're really yes. changing lives. Yes. That's yeah. amazing. And it's something I also want to go now to, there's this big refugee camp at where I come from, in Trokana, wow. Kakuma. So um, I would also like to do the same kind of thing there. That's, that's yes. amazing. Yes. That's incredible. You're really beautiful inside and out, Ajuma. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. So Ajuma, one last question. Uh, what message do you have for girls around the world? Yeah, like, of course, for those girls who, who are, are going through the same sort of thing, like mm -hmm. me, like I've been dragged in the mud, being called names like charcoal, you know, even Kenyans themselves calling wow. me maybe monkey, you know, those are strange. It's you know, terrible. I, yeah, I've been through a lot, people calling me all sorts of names, growing up, that is. I mean, look at me, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing fine, I'm alive, you yes. know, I, I made it, I didn't bleach my skin. So I, I would just like to tell those girls, you are beautiful just the way you are, I can confirm that. You are, please, just be comfortable in your own skin, you're amazing. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Love your black. Hashtag yes, it. Yes, Spread yes. the message. Love your black. Even light, even brown. Every the, color. Any, every color. Every All color. shades of blacks are beautiful. Amen to yes. that. Wow. Ajuma, thank you so much <laughs> for being such an amazing role model. You're truly beautiful inside thank and you, out. Thank you. And thank you so much for having us here. It was thank incredible. You. Thank yeah. you.